seven iron from 140 up the hill and it's gone right to the back of the green. Welcome back to Puck. Welcome back to Cardigan Bay, the back nine. Short par three to start the tenth. There's Cardigan down there, which is where we are staying for a couple of weeks. You can see the sea from everywhere. What a wonderful place to be. Right, looks like I've got an up and down to start the back nine. Not sure if I was pumped or got the yardage wrong. Anyway, forget that shot, get on with the next. So I've got to hit this down the slope and chase it out. And I've under hit this, but I'm very lucky that it's dribbled down somewhere near the hole. And that is a good makeup. Number 11, longish par 4, down the hill, a little bit of a dog leg to the left, so I just want to turn this over a bit. Seem to be hitting this shot quite well today, so no fears. Aim out to the right and just turn it over. Flag is on the left side of the green. I elect again to try and turn this ball over. I got a seven iron and I should be aiming at the right of the green, but uh, looking at my feet line, I'm not. Yeah, so I started it at the flag and turned it over. I mean, it's a good shot, just the setup was slightly wrong. Right, I got a lot of sand to get over here. I'm on the down slope. There's not much green. You've got to commit yourself to the fact that you are going past this flag. Don't try anything cute. Get it on the green. Yeah, it's come out quite low. I tried very hard to get some height on that, but off the down slope, didn't really have much of a chance. Yep, marking it with a toe and a putter. It's not competition, so who cares? Chance of a par. If I tried to be cute out of the bunker, I wouldn't have this chance of a par. I'd be playing my next shot from in the bunker still. Bit of a nothing putt, but you know, you can't hold them all. This hole looks rather familiar. Slightly up the hill, slight dog leg to the right, but almost an exact replica of some of the holes on the front line. Now I'm driving really well, and the reason I'm driving so well is because I have absolutely no fear of this golf course. There's no real hazards for me to worry about. Right, don't want to miss left, so this is deliberately fired at the right half of the green. I wouldn't normally look at a putt from the side on, but as I've had to walk forward, I'll have a look anyway, just to see how much downhill this is. Well, it's not the greatest thing on the planet. But we're not on the tour, you know, so anything that leaves you a tap in is a good putt.
Dead straight par 5. Fairway sloping a little right to left. Can't remember if I go for a cut or a draw here. I think it's a little cut. Heart of the fairway. Job done. Well, this is a bit of a stretch for a three wood, but I reckon I can get up there nice and close for a chip and a putt. So let's give it some. Unfortunately, I got completely out of sync there. I've knobbed it. Left myself on the edge of a thick patch of rough. Lasered the flag, 121, nine iron, here we go. And that thing really jumped. Couldn't believe what I saw with this ball charging up the green. I've gone right up onto the back shelf, so I've hit that nine iron. Probably about 140 yards. This is an absolutely smelly putt coming back down the step. Now I actually get the break spot on. What I haven't got spot on is the speed. So I finish up a few feet beyond the beyond the flag. Still got a chance for a par here. But I think there's some hangover sort of pittiness about that three wood. However, we can look at the sea. You see how much time I'm spending here lining this up. Having a real good look at it. These putts are so important to keeping your score going. Ah, oh, just under Reddit. Never mind. Right, the wind's getting up a bit here, and this is stroke one. Got OB down the right, and there is an awful lot of gorse and bracken down the left. This is a tricky one. So I go with the old block cut, something that I reliably can hit into the fairway. And I think I probably put all the logos and stuff in the wrong place. Seven nine down the hill, flags cut on the left side of the green. I'm going straight at it. That is known as payback. Finally a hole I can hit less than driver on. Down the wind, it's down the hill. I absolutely launched this one. I've quite handily managed to put myself right between two clubs here. So I'm taking the 50 degree, I'm looking at a spot short right of the flag to give myself an uphill putt. And I hit this shot a little on the easy side, just to take some yards off it. Unfortunately, I've just overdone it a bit. Well, on the dance floor, but I'm just a fraction further away than I'd like. I'd much prefer seven or eight feet. Unfortunately, this is about 15 to 18.
Well, this is one hell of a golf hole. You can't see much from the tee here. What I can see, though, is all the trouble is in the front. So where I would normally club down to a seven, I'm taking the six. Make sure I get all the rubbish out of play. Oh, yeah, he's happy about that. And this is what I avoided. Big bunker to the right. Big bunker to the left. Second bunker to the right. See, it would have been so tempting there to club down, take a seven iron. If I've taken the six, again, 15 to 18 feet past the hole. You can't ask for any more than that, can you? So I was feeling great with the driver, so I went to hit a fade up here and I hit a big pull. And now I'm trying again. Now I've hit a sloppy pull. Fortunately that's sloppy that it's actually in play. So uh, that was almost a five off the tee. The bracken's only a few feet to my left. Right, 60 yards, just going to hit a low punchy sand wedge, try and get some spin on it. Absolutely hit this perfect. Yeah, about nine feet back down the hill. Birdie the second ball, which means I make a bogey. I've done that a few times. Birdie the second ball to make a bogey, if you see what I mean. Sadly, this one missed, and not by much. So that's a double. Last hole, short par five. A lot of the par fives have been short today, so hopefully I'll get something out of this last hole. Got to take your time over a birdie putt right in front of the clubhouse windows, haven't you? 
that's not a bad knock despite having a, a few cock-ups along the way. Cheerio!